It has been a week to savor for Manchester City fans in what has been a thrilling season. The football has been good enough, with important victories at Old Trafford and Turf Moor confirming the club's position as the best in the city and possibly the best in the country again. More than that, though, they have done it. While watching their nearest rivals torture themselves in the hope that they would slip up. United fans, used to dominating City for so long in derbies, had to agonize over whether they actually wanted their team to win the game, if it meant handing the initiative in the Premier League title race to past, present and future enemies Liverpool despite their own top four hopes hanging by a thread. The saving grace for the Reds is that at least their pain was only around one game Liverpool's hope is ongoing and ever more desperate as they pray for one result that can see them top. Jamie Carragher has put on a United shirt for nothing, ex-Leeds and City player James Milner pledged support for United for nothing, all those Ashley Barnes profile pictures were for nothing, the bizarre worshipping of Sean Ditch was for nothing, and still it goes. Within minutes of the final whistle at Turf Moor, the Match of the Day account was tweeting about Brendan Rodgers, the former Liverpool manager who takes his Leicester team to the Etihad next Monday. Most of it is good-natured, and football should always be as fun and passionate as possible. Football is also about enjoying when your rivals mess up, though and Blues have feasted on so many looking for any crumbs possible by throwing their support behind any players or managers that had a chance of stopping the champions, some of which has definitely seemed a little And funny. As Guardiola said this week in response to some Jurgen Klopp mind games, City are in the fortunate position of not having to think about other teams win their remaining games and will be champions. But it still doesn't feel like there has been the same obsession when their rivals have played, just as there wasn't a scramble for a savior when it was Liverpool in control of the title race. Granted there were months still to go, yet it didn't feel as if there was the same obsession with the other team's results. On one of the rare occasions it happened, when Kyle Walker joked about Leicester taking points off Liverpool, it was pointed to as evidence that City were rattled. An unhappy Klopp retorted at the time that I'm not sure what it says about us, it says something more about the other person. The Liverpool manager will presumably draw the same conclusions about the attention paid to City's results since, but in the meantime Guardiola's side relentlessly marched towards the title without wasting a second being distracted by the noise around them.